Hi, now I am going to demonstrate a very powerful and useful tool and let's see the scenario where this will be useful. If you have hundreds and thousands of documents where you need to find certain value and replace it with the specified value, this tool, let's see how it works. Now I have a file uh, doc or docx files where I need to fill these values or replace with this name and the consultation fees. Uh, this is my tool. I'm opening it and this is the name I wanted to replace it with the Mary Tyler <coughs> sorry and then I wanted to find this consultation fee and change it with 100 you may have <coughs> already 100 here and you may want to change it to 200 or you may have a Mary Taylor here and you want you may want to change it with a different value as a Steve that also you can do it and here I wanted to change this save dollars with ineffective savings so I have hundreds and thousands of uh, for such files and it's very tedious for me to do so I use this tool and I, I also have a scenario where I have different variables to fill in uh, some more files I have here I have name underscore sales so I wanted to replace that with the Steve Adams and uh, consultation and this fee underscore sales I wanted to replace it with 250 so I combine all these files together and uh, keep my tool there this is my tool and I have opened it already I wanted to process it I'm clicking on process it gives me a, a, a warning message to or a alert message to keep a backup of these files in case if you require it in f future for use I'm confirming to proceed clicking yes started processing one two three four and the four documents are processed now let's go back and see what it has actually done so I'm opening the file it, it has replaced with Mary Taylor the consultation fees with hundred and uh, save dollar with ineffective savings this has done with the first case now let's go back to the sales one still Steve underscore Adams this is a sales name it is replaced with Steve Adams and then con sales consultation fees and it's with the 250 and then it's the save dollar remains there and effective savings is not come save dollar this is save dollars and this is save dollar so we can make I think better is to make the changes within the Excel itself now I changed it and I am processing it again with the same files it just save, it changes the save dollars with the effective savings now it's completed processing now let's go back and see then okay this has changed in effective savings this is how it's useful we have a uh, compatibility with Mac also uh, Windows version and the Mac version thank you for watching this video